Now let's look at the futures. This, uh, what day is it? Wednesday morning. I, more green. How about that? Eddie Gabor is with us this morning. Eddie, when are you going to start buying stocks again? So we're going to start buying when the data that we're looking at, and we let data drive whether we're bullish or bearish versus any other thing. And right now, from an economic standpoint, the fact of the matter is everything is decelerating, or most things are decelerating. And the next thing now that we're starting to see accelerate more than it did last year is real estate is really starting to slow down. And that, to me, is a big problem from an economic standpoint. So we're still in the camp that we're going to be going into a recession. If we are correct in our assessment, then this market has a lot more ways to go to the downside. The only thing that's accelerating right now from an economic standpoint are things that you don't want to see accelerating, like consumer debt. I think you're going to see foreclosures start to accelerate. And that's a normal process you go through when you have a bubble burst and you're heading into an economic slowdown. And on top of that, for the first time in maybe 40 years, while we're having this slowdown, we have the Fed that's being forced to tighten monetary policy. That makes this time period much different than 08 and 09 when they came in and cut rates, as well as during the 2000 tech burst. So I don't think many people realize the magnitude of the time period that we're in right now. And I just think it's prudent to be cautious until the data changes. And until it do doesn't change, we're going to continue to try to protect our clients as best as we can. Okay, let's suppose that tomorrow when we get the consumer price index at 8.30 Eastern time, let's suppose that in inflation comes in over the past year above 6%, as it is likely to. What does the market do? So I think if it comes in under 6.5%, you'll see a spike into the end of the week, maybe even the beginning of the week. If it's over 6.5%, I think you're going to see a pretty sizable sell-off over the coming days. But here's the thing I want to point to is when you look at data, you have to see why is it coming down. And I think you're going to see inflation slowly trickle down over the next several months because demand destruction is happening. People aren't buying as many cars. Housing is the buys aren't coming. So a CPI is supposed to come down when you're going into a recession. And look at the bond market. The bond okay. market has had this right for 13 months. Okay. The yield curve is wider than I've seen in my career. Headline from Eddie Gabor this uh, Wednesday morning, he's not buying yet. Got it. All right, Eddie, we'll see you later. Thanks a lot.